I welcome you to another exciting presentation about artificial neural networks and today I am going to speak about crystallizing errors in these ANNs. But what do I mean with crystallizing errors? Inspired by the human brain, psychologists identify two kinds of learning phases. First, learning phase in which sensory information is transferred to the working memory. Please see the white components in the figure. Here we find common components to deal with these temporary fluid signals, such as the phonological loop, the episodic buffer, the visual spatial sketchpad, and the central executive. Second, learning phase in which signal schemata are transferred to the long term knowledge system. They are crystallized. Please see the gray components in the figure. As this works effectively for humans, why don't we transfer this kind of crystallization to machine learning approaches? This kind of research gap motivated me to continue here, as there is this approach to modeling neural processes graphically, the so-called concept of neural modeling. And as this proceeding enables the visualization of selecting neural structures and crystallizing errors as they are designed by this contribution. This research was realized as a design science-oriented research on behalf of this method. So let's come to the design of crystallized backpropagating errors. The design of crystallized backpropagation mechanism is oriented to common backpropagation mechanisms. In the first step, signals are fed into the artificial neural network and passed from neuron to neuron. Step 2. Error determination. If the signal has reached the output neurons of that network, these signals are compared with target values so that an error can be derived at each output neuron. Step 3. Backward pass. These errors are passed from downstream neurons to the upstream neurons. Here the effect of each neuron on a certain error is derived. Step 4. Weight adjustment. The corresponding neural weights are adjusted based on each neuron's contribution to an error. Through this kind of training procedure, errors are reduced and hopefully it disappears. Weights are adjusted as Formula 10 clarifies. Right here, the crystallization comes into play.
the crystallization is mathematically modeled by forgetting rate phi. Since this has been considered as a factor, backpropagation behaves as usual if a forget rate refers to 1.0. I refer to this as a perfect state of fluidity, which is an analogy to psychological models on working memory. Here, neural weights can be modified without compromises and the corresponding knowledge won't be preserved. If the forgetting rate refers to 0.0, .0 this can be referred to as the perfect state of crystallization. Neural weights cannot be modified anymore and the corresponding knowledge will be preserved. But please be aware of the following. Errors still can contribute to the whole net. Although they don't, do not lead to a change at their crystallized node, they are passed to upstream nodes. Here they can contribute in dependence on the here attached forgetting rate. This enables a new branch of controlling and management mechanisms at ANNs. So the interesting question is, where does the forgetting signal come from? Either this can be modeled by human model constructors, or it come, can come from higher cognitive level of the ANN itself. However, for the sake of simplicity, the forgetting rate has referred to perfect states in the following experiments only. So let's see how this mechanism performs. Its performance has been shown in comparison with the standard backpropagation mechanism. So four different kinds of experiments have been realized that all consider the same ANN as initial setup. The corresponding ANN has been created with the aid of the cyber physical production system, which you can see on the right. However, two experiments were focusing on backpropagation standard procedures. See the first row. And two experiments focused on crystallized backpropagation. See the second row. While two experiments faced the initial ANN with an XOR dataset, See the first column. Two experiments faced the initial ANN with an XOR similar dataset. The latter has random noise on the second input channel as if it has a defect sensor. It's therefore called the defect dataset. You can see this in the second column. So the ANN here is challenged by a disturbance factor. In this figure, you can see the initial ANN on the basis of the neural modeling and description language. Neurons are visualized in brown, directed weights are visualized by arrows, their thickness and color, while positive weights show a red color, negative weights show a blue color. Please have a look on the center of the picture the activation of neuron group 1 that has been crystallized in two experiments. It has been connected by three weights having a size of 1. Here, here and here. So that these just transfer signals. Let's face the change in the four experiments. Standard backpropagation results you can see here. You can see that the internal thickness of the non-crystallized fluid weights do change. In comparison with the figure before, further you can see weights around 1.0 here here and here. The ANN successfully masters the XOR problem. Due to the internal changes, the ANN structures have reorganized. So facing this kind of network with a defect data set, the network successfully shrinks the influence of this second input channel.
What about the performance of the crystallized backpropagation? Facing the ANN with a X or data set, here the ANN successfully masters the XOR problem. It again shows weights around 1.0 here, here, and here. But in comparison to the first standard backpropagation, internal weights have not changed due to their crystallization. So, knowledge generated by these neuronal structures is preserved. Facing this ANN by the defect data set, we can see again that it successfully shrinks the influence of the second input channel, while internal ANN structures are preserved. So, what does this imply for II-based applications? Summarizing up to here, we have seen a new concept for crystallized backpropagation that makes errors manageable on the basis of psychological models. We have seen a demonstration in an industrial setting addressing its usefulness. In training procedures, the crystallized knowledge has been preserved beside a traditional weight modification. What does this imply for AI-based application systems? The crystallizing backpropagation is a contribution as a mechanism for the controlled AI-based application system development that establishes adequate ANNs. Hopefully, I was able to clarify the need for further kinds of ANN crystallization mechanisms that allow the AI's knowledge base to be created and guided efficiently. Here, I am speaking about manual ANN crystallization strategies. Further, the crystallized backpropagation error variant is contributing as a mechanism for a sustainable training of managed AI knowledge evolution in application systems, which even might be realized through higher cognitive levels. Here, I am speaking about an automated ANN-based crystallization strategies. So let me come back to the initial research question. How can neural knowledge, such as the previously trained neural weights, be crystallized to build on former training performance? As an attempt for an answer, let me conclude like this. As ANN-based knowledge bases have been prepared and knowledge needs to be preserved, we are now able to research how to crystallize corresponding neural structures and weights. At least, we have a design for examining the evolving ANN-based knowledge bases, and I am enthusiastic to experiment with this. So, thanks for your attention and having a look on this.